Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you're new. As you can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be installing my first synthetic wig. So this is the wig I'm going to be installing and reviewing for you guys today. I did have to order this one offline off of the Ultra website. Um, You can't go to your beauty supply store and get this because I did call, well, at least mine, yours may be a different story. So I have installed a blend wig before, which is half human half synthetic but this is fully synthetic fully plastic and i'm going to be installing it today because you know i've been watching a lot of tiktoks and tiktoks really influence your girl and they've been really slaying these synthetic wigs so i was like you know i have to give it a try it was only 40 dollars y'all the link to this wig will be in the description box below if you guys want to go check it out let's get into the details this is the style Charlene, and then the color when you go on the website that you want to pick would be 3CR Iris Coffee. This is heat resistant, so you can flat iron it up to 400 degrees. And this is a lace front wig, so it has a little lace in the front and it comes already pre curled. So let's go ahead and take it out of the package. I don't know the inch. Look. All right, y'all, so I had to beat my face and everything before I put on this wig just so I can see the full vision just in case I don't like it because I do have to go to work today. But what I'm going to be using to install this wig is uh, my ghost thought. I use this for all of my wigs, but I'm not going to be applying a lot because, again, this is synthetic, so I don't want to keep this on too long and ruin it. So I would just like to say this is a not big head friendly because my head is pretty small and I do say so myself. I get told it all the time when I'm getting my hair done and this fits actually really snug and I don't even have the little things attached. So if you have a big head, girl, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> that is not in the middle. Period. So this is how it ended up coming out. I did end up cutting it because the ends were like way too thick for my liking. And why is it curling like that? Hold on. Yeah, I did end up cutting it because the ends were way too thick for my liking. And I could just tell that it was synthetic. It would go like about right here. But as you can see, I cut a lot of that length off. But this is what it looks like. Period. I don't know how long I want to keep this in. Definitely not, not for long because I don't want it to start looking nappy. But like, sis, for $40 and you get a look like this, they go the lace like, period. The lace is kind of better than human hair wigs. To be real with you, it's easier to lay. The plucking is already done. Girl, I ain't had to do much but throw it on my head. That's why the video is so short. But, um, yeah. Do I recommend this wig? Definitely. For one, it is easy to install. For two, it's very cheap and affordable and you get a nice look. And for three, it helps you, like, try out different colors and stuff without actually buying the 613 hair wig and then dyeing it and not even liking how the color comes out. So if you guys want to test colors, I suggest getting synthetic before you get the actual human hair. But like for everyday wear, no, because it's going to start getting nappy. And that's the opposite of what we want, sis. We want it to look 
as natural as possible as y'all can see i keep touching it like i keep playing with the curls i didn't even have to curl it it came like this y'all like it came like this like it came to slay <laughs> and i'm just here for it period Yeah. Mm. yeah um a flat arning i mean curling is not it because now it's like straight and it won't curl back so and it smells like tires